Namaste. Would you like to say something? Congratulations to you on this remarkable book. And I'm buying one and perhaps more. I am so excited about the introduction of this book. And you'll, you'll be interested in knowing one of them is for a baby that is not yet born, a little girl, a little Nepali girl, so that she will have your collection of Nepali Himalaya uh, recipes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ruma. the food? Delicious. Every you say something? Okay. Thank you. It's very nice and it's great that your book is coming out. It's great. Thank you so and much. I look forward to all those recipes. Oh, okay. Do you have anything? Yeah. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful evening and I am looking forward to cooking from that book. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, it's so good, I don't know what to say. Govinder is the co-owner of the Taste of Himalayas. Would you like to come forward to do that? This is when he becomes, can we give a big, huge round of applause for the fun of the team? Respectable Nobel Laureate, Douglas Osor, Mr. Wes Nisker, Mr. David Seaborg, Ms. Kimber Simpkins, Master of Ceremony, Sir Soti, invited guest, Friends of Taste of Himalaya, and Yoga Kula. I'm very happy to stand here and welcome you all, wonderful people, to the ninth anniversary of Taste of Himalayas. We have had very successful years because we love, support, and care. We want to th take this opportunity to say thank you. We also want to renew our energy and make a strong commitment of serving this community by serving the best we have to offer. The Himalayas family has more reasons to thank this community <coughs> Taste of the Himalayas has published a cookbook written by our own Durvatapa chef and partner, co-owner of this restaurant. I request you all to support us by buying the cookbook. I once again welcome you all and invite to have fun and celebrate the occasions. Thank you and Namaste. Yeah. 
you know, you can make a very good cinema book, but if my wife <laughs> doesn't cook, <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> This, but I think giving me three doesn't make me be a better cook. <laughs> but I, I, I will, can I disseminate these to other people that I feel maybe are better cooks than I am? Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sir Shakti. Thank you, everybody, for your valuable presence. Good evening, and a warm welcome to everyone who has been able to join us tonight. What a blessing to be here tonight, and what a fantastic opportunity to celebrate our ninth anniversary of Taste of the Himalayas birthday. Truly, it's my honor to have you here, our chief guest, Noel Lawrence Douglas, also author, radio commentator, comedian, and meditation teacher, West Disker, evolution biologist, and poet, Mr. David Seaborg, team of Yoga Tula, all our invited guest speakers, all the dignitaries, community leaders, and our valued guests. First of all, I would like to thank the entire team of the Taste of the Himalayas family, Berkeley, for giving me this great opportunity to write this book. So this is not my book. This is not my book. This book belongs to the family of Taste of the Himalayas. Without your support and encouragement, without teamwork of all my kitchen staffs, you know, the kitchen staff, they are working really hard, hard to provide you good food. Without the teamwork of kitchen staffs, I would never be able to complete this book. Thanks once again for completing my ideas, bearing in mind every time when I try to introduce new menu as a special of the month. I introduce every month special of the month. Tonight, I give my special thanks to our Nepali community of the area, my all friends and family who have always encouraged me to write this book. I want to give a special thanks to the founder of Taste of the Himalayas, Mr. Govinda Sai, my brother Rajan Thapa, Lakshmi Chaudhary. My special thanks goes to my brother Rajan Thapa, who has always supported me, guided me, and encouraged me to grow and expand my wings of creativity. It is because of him that I also launched my first book of poetry in presence of two noble lawyers, Dr. Charles Thomas and Dr. Matthew Ayer, and what a coincidence, my good book has just unveiled by one of great personality and noble lawyers, Dr. Douglas Osir. Thank you so much for your valuable presence. I will never forget this day in my life. Today, I'm really honored because of your presence. Thank you so much. In addition to my team at the restaurant, my biggest thanks go to my wife, Savita. I think she's not here, she's down, Swabiji who has always been so kind and understanding of my feeling and emotions and has always supported me in what I wanted to do in my life. My sister-in-law, Vijaya Papa, my beloved three gems of our family with whom I spend lots of joy and sorrow together. They are Priyanka, Pratik, and Prashir. My next big thanks goes to Jamie Souza and his wife Tina, without their help and great photography, this book would not, not be completed. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie is there. I would like to introduce Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, please allow me to introduce Jamie. He has been a Bay Area based photographer for the past 10 years, who has photographed luminaries such as President Obama. Dalai Lama and Bill Gates, yeah. one of Jamie's experts, is doing food photography. Wow. Beside my cookbook, 
He has also worked with many great restaurants, including our next neighbor, Cafe Gratitude. I take this opportunity, opportunity to thank all the participants of my cooking classes, volunteers of Karma Kitchen, founders of Berkeley's Kitchen, and Estado Success with whom I work together and consider they are part of me. I used to do a lot of cooking classes here in the Bay Area, uh, different places, and especially in the restaurants also. So Estado Success and Berkeley's Kitchens, they were working with me. And I work together and in concluded num number of cooking classes and they always encourage me to write this. So many recipes of this book are the outcome of the, my cooking classes that we share together. So it's very simple, easy, and user friendly. You can try here at your home. <laughs> Tonight we are here, not because I wrote and published my book, but we are here because Taste of the Himalayas is here. We are here because our loyal customers, all our well-wishers, friends and each and everyone who always believed in our food, love our food and always supported us in our initial days to celebrate our ninth anniversary tonight. We are here because we all came to dine in our restaurants. So that this is not our event, this is your event. This is not my event, this is not our event, this is your event. And we are only the part of this event. So please accept our warm welcome and hospitality we consider every guest is God and we always please to serve you as a guest. We know within less than a decade, the name test of the Himalayas has become so popular, not only in Gourmet Keto, but also in Greater San Francisco Bay Area. It's not because we did well, but it is because you loved us, supported us, and you tried our dishes and loved our food. I believe this book takes you to the culinary journey of hidden valleys, mountains, and plains of the great Himalayan regions. In this book, sorry, <laughs> we'll find many different dishes served in our menu, but there are many recipes that is not available in any Himalayan restaurants in the United States. I have put these recipes here for you to try, taste, and enjoy the tradition, traditional food served in the Himalayas. I believe this is the way of giving back to the community. Therefore, my humble request to all of you is to buy this book so that I can bring you more new and authentic recipes in future. Without your support and encouragement, my all efforts will just go in vain. But I am positive you will definitely buy this book. <laughs> I spent four hours to complete this book, so please don't forget to buy a copy of this book. Thank you so much. Finally, thank you, thank you so much. I hope everybody will go out and support this book. Thank you so much. Are we ready to go? Pardon? I think we're ready to go, Doug. Okay. Well, laser point. That's the one thing I don't have. Does someone have a laser point? I can't do anything without a laser point. Oh, yes. You can. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Well, I, I apologize. I'm the absent-minded professor, and I left all of my visuals uh, in the trunk of my car. There is one that I started with, but I don't know who should have. Well, look, what, what you have, the order you have is different from what's in my trunk anyway. So, so go ahead and, and put them up and all. So let me just say a little bit about, about where I'm coming from. I mean, my father was a medical doctor, and my mother had been a nurse, uh, and uh, my father's main, main passion in life, besides uh, his medical career, I suppose, and his family, was in fact photography and so he was the one that actually got me involved in photography uh, and it's a passion which which is I, I, I dare say a, a very strong passion for me and and I go I love going around the world taking pictures of mostly landscapes in fact I was in uh, Ecuador uh, I think it was about a month ago 
uh, and uh, we went to, to the Galapagos Islands. And unfortunately, you know, that is not the Galapagos Islands. <laughs> that is that is the California coast. This, however, this is 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 Guangshan. This is in China. Uh, where'd you get those things from? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the interesting thing is that, that, that I don't know how there, there must be some uh, something plates out there. You can see the. Okay. 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 Okay.